your field of study, please? Well, I studied in the American University in Cairo and I studied Egyptology and architecture engineering. I double majored. Uh, it was unique, but I really got to enjoy Egyptology because it was something very different, very specific also on to my heritage. It's really well to, it's really good to be informed about your heritage. Exactly. Are there more girls interested in studying Egyptology? Actually, most of the people in the major were girls, except mm -hmm. for a few, but most mostly girls. Okay. What's your input? Your input in the project you're working on right now? I am working with Factum Foundation in collaboration with Basel University and the Ministry of Antiquities uh, of Egypt. What we are doing now is uh, called the Theban Necropolis Preservation Initiative. And through this initiative, our main goal is to preserve the Egyptian tombs, to have a record of them in time as they exist right now. This is very good because this helps you look back and understand how the tomb has perished, how it's going, how it's progressing, how to protect it. This is great work because it allows conservators, scholars, and it also allows historians to have a different look into every antique object and understanding the complex biographies that come with it, just with its texture and color. Uh, you told me that you also provide uh, uh, training opportunities for the locals in Luxor with your foundation. That's true. The idea is that this uh, Factum Foundation would like to have a, an Egyptian team on site in Luxor. And what we're doing is we're starting with training the locals. We, we're already training two, uh, Abdo and Mahmoud, and they are brilliant, mm -hmm. absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. They have done great work and they are very perceptive and very open to understanding the new technologies. Um, we are trying to eventually have a base of 10 people doing the job but starting two at a time. Okay, perfect. Uh, tell me how do your colleagues uh, at the foundation, and we know it's a Spanish foundation, Factum Arte, uh, how, do you, how do they perceive you as an Egyptian, uh, hardworking, passionate, uh, with a lot of expertise, especially training in Luxor, training in London, how do your colleagues perceive you? Did they have a different uh, stereotype about Egyptian girls? Maybe they did at the beginning, but now they don't because I think I fit in Factum very well. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Uh, tell us about the uh, restoration of the Stopler house. The house for Alexander Stopler. Mm -hmm. And Alexander Stopler was also working in the antiquities at that time. Mm -hmm. But right now, the house it was in a horrible condition. Yeah. Everything was falling apart, the foundation ha was faulty, the walls were cracked, there were so many problems. And Dr. Tarek Kweli and his center are the ones who have done all the restoration works. Uh, Factum Foundation was has financed this project, um, and uh, this was restored to be the first 3D scanning center, and scanning, training, and archiving center in Luxor. Very good. Okay. Uh, one Can more. I just say one more thing? Yeah. It was opened by the Minister of Antiquities, Dr. Khaled Laneni. February 2017. Oh, that's three. About 3D scanning, what's exactly 3D scanning and doc documentation? What is exactly that? There are so many methods of 3D scanning. 3D scanning is understanding the surface that you're dealing with, mm -hmm. seeing it for what it actually is. Because what you see is not what you get most of the time. What you see, like if you see a flat wall, it's not flat. It has scratches, it has details, it has very minor things that with your eyes you cannot feel, you can only feel it when you touch it. Mm -hmm. But what we try to do is to get this data that you cannot see but can only feel mm -hmm. into a form where you can actually see it. Okay, and how does that help in historic documentation? This is great because understanding the surface that you're dealing with better allows you to understand the object better, allows you to write history better, to conserve your object better, to have a permanent record of it and see how it has deteriorated through time. In, uh, in Egypt on site is different from working uh, in Spain. And how did you miss Egypt when you were working in Spain? 
I missed Egypt a lot, mm -hmm. but I also enjoyed working in Spain. Mm -hmm. My experience was a bit rough at the beginning, but then I got the hang of it and I started to work harder and harder. What was really challenging was working in Luxor, mm -hmm. because in Luxor, usually the woman is sort of less than the man, and I'm leading a team of men. Mm -hmm. So that was hard, but I had to establish myself in a manner that they would be able to perceive me and understand me and not be threatened by the fact that I'm a woman as their boss. <laughs> Very good. And did you manage to succeed in achieving that? I would like to believe so. <laughs>